We got a little drone malfunction we do. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsif's YouTube channel. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. Today, we're going to take a look at the Maverick Air 2. I have a light that's not working properly when it's turned on. I'll show you. Now, I did... Careful. I did notice that if I move the arm, it came on. See? We got one red light not quite working. But if I... When I was shutting the arm earlier, it kind of wants to come on. I'm pretty sure it's got a bad wire in there or something. So what we're going to do is we're going to tear it apart and we're going to see if we can't fix it. What do you think? Do you think we can cock it over together? I'm thinking so, Captain. So the first thing we're going to do is try to get the top case off. Now they are a little torxy torxy there. If you look down here just right, we'll get the torxes out and we'll get these screws out here. I'll put them over there so we don't lose them. Now if you're wondering, I don't have the DJI freaking care package, but this drone's what, going on over a year old now anyways, so I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Do you remember which arm it was? I don't. Freak, talking too much. Do you already forgot what arm? I think it's this one. So there's four screws in where the battery goes. Now I did look at the instructions real quick on this, but I probably forgot already, so there might be a pause in this video. Yeah. All right, so there are screws under here, which we gotta take out. We gotta pull this heat sink off first, and we'll put them over here because I'm pretty sure, oh, they're all the same. But we'll still put them over there anyways, right? Why wouldn't we? So there's six screws on this by the looks of it. So we'll get them off. A lot of these are probably thinking, why the hell is he tearing it apart because the light's not working? Well, you gotta be safe in the sky, you do. You gotta make sure the lights are working, Jim. If you happen to get caught by the drone police one day and something's not working on the drone, then you can get a ticket, Captain. We don't want to get a freaking ticket, we don't. Plus, I like taking stuff like this apart. You learn how it goes together and stuff. Oh, that is. So they put goop on the screw to see if anybody's took it apart before. That's what they do, because they're sneaky bastards, eh? So now when you send it in, they can say, hey, your drone's been apart there, Chachi. And I can say, it sure has, Jim. So there we go, that's off. So now we'll take off this screw, which is down in here somewhere. There it is. We'll take that screw out. Now I'm hoping I don't have to take everything apart. I just need to take enough apart where I can check the wiring on the arm. So we'll take that out. And then of course there's some in the front, probably right here and probably right here. Actually, I might as well take all four of these out because I don't know. And of course, they got some more goop in that screw. So there we go. We took out six screws. So let's flip it upside down and six screws should fall out. One. There's four. Five. There's one still in there. Where, where is it? Right there, John. There it is. The front should be close to coming off. Maybe. There's two more screws in there. Let's get them out too. Well, they're a different size. Oh, there's two more there. What do these do? Let's pull these out. Oh, they're different, so we'll put them over here. I'm pretty sure these don't hold the lid on, but hey, you never know. So now that we get that out, friggin' these small friggin' screwdriver. Okay, I found it. I got super lucky with that bit. Look how small it is. It works. That's the size I needed, so she's golden, Jim. I think it was the size I needed. Yep, there it is. Decent. Tiny little suckers they were. There we go. So those are off. So now I should be able to pull the nose cone off. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Holy frick. Should be able to, right? There it goes. Freaking right it is. So there we go. Yeah, see, there's two little screw holes that hold that on. So that's off. So now we need to pull off this plate where we put this screw. Take them off. There's a couple more screws in here. One there. One here, two up here, and there we go. So now this whole lid should come off. Maybe, hey, maybe. Oh, something's happening, Jim. And when you're doing this, you wanna make sure you do it nice and slow and easy and gentle, because you don't wanna break anything. Not for a couple grand anyways. Yeah, it's coming off. Just gotta wiggle it. Something's holding right in the back here. So we definitely get them screws out because six dropped. Double check, yep, out and out. So we're close. Just gotta wiggle it until it pops off. We get them out. Yep, those are out. So it should come off. It's just being a little bit stubborn. You gotta get something in there just to help it a little bit, eh? Yep, there it is. So right on the sides, there's a little clip there is on the wing where the plastic just kind of hooks into it. So just get a little something, little flat and just slide back there and it slides right off. There you go. So see, there's a little hook there and a little hook there. Got them. There we go, that's off. So now we can take a look in here and see if I can see any wires that are off for the light. Now, as you know, I'm looking at the wrong friggin' one, I am. So the one that's burnt out is one of these. 
So we got ground goes back here. So I don't see any wires that are not connected. So you know what that's telling me? There's probably something in the actual wire itself, which sucks. Oh no. I don't remember which one it was now. Careful when you're doing this, don't touch nothing. Got him. So it's this one, this arm here. So if it's that arm, we're gonna have to check the wiring on the actual arm. So that looks good. That comes around here. Can't see what's going on here, Captain. It goes around to here, it goes around to there, and it goes right to here. So there's that one that's connected. So that looks good. The solders look good. So I think it's in the actual wire in here probably. So let's get that arm apart and see if we can't see what's going on in there. So by looks of it, we need to take this screw out here, which is a star. Oh, dick. So there's a pin that holds the arm in with one screw. So that can come out and then this arm should come off. And there we go. So like I said, I don't want to take the arm right off because I'm trying just to see if the wire is broken in the arm. But by the looks of it, I don't think I can check it. So the LED is yellow and blue and black. So yellow, blue, and black, which is a real tiny wire. But I can't see what is holding that in. I think I might just leave that. Let's put that back in because I'm pretty sure it's up here is where the issue is. And I actually have a crease right there that I want to check. Might just have to order a new arm. But there is, like I said, right in here, if you look in here, See how that's cocked over right there? That might be the break. So let's plug this thing back in, check it out. See if we can't wiggle something back into place. Frick, I can't check that wire. Let's get this arm back in. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. The wire's broken. It's probably because of that right there. This thing only goes in one certain way too. Man, that's got a spring to her, Jim. So I think the arm has to be shut to do this. I don't know how you hold your tongue, Captain. We'll get her, don't worry. Man, oh man. That's how it's gotta go in. I just gotta get it lined up. So just ever so everybody knows, these things are spring-loaded. Something fierce. So if you don't get it just right, you can't get it back in, Jim. It's not fun. There's always something. That's the way you look at it. Whenever you're doing this, there's always something that's going to fight you. You fucking cock. Fucker. What in the flying f Why did I take that fing thing off? All right, I got it. Don't ever take them things off. Man, oh man, that was a dick. So what that does is it's spring loaded. So when the arm's open, it holds it tight. And when it's shut, it holds it tight. Now I got my wire all dicked over. There we go. See, it's tight that way, tight that way. So you just want to make sure it's tight. Wow. So I didn't find any problems there. So the wire is broken somewhere in line and I don't know where. So the only way to fix this maybe is to just order an arm. That's what I'm thinking. You know, yeah, this was a lot of work just to figure that out, but it is what it is, man. What are you gonna do, right? You gotta start somewhere you do. Yeah, it's just cocked over. No goody, LED-o. Frig, that's a bummer. Here, I was hoping I could fix it. It'd be a nice quick job for us, but nope. The wires are so small that it could be broken anywhere. I'm saying I can't fix it, just saying. I'm not gonna fix it. Why are so small? It's so easy to break. Oh well, let's get this thing back together. Go from there. 
So now what we can do is we can put the front case back on, throw the screws in the front nose. Well, I was hoping I might be able to fix this with you guys today, but it is what it is. You can't fix everything. You can sure the hell try, but you can't do it all, Captain. I'm actually kind of surprised this thing even turned on because the battery's got sensors in it to let you know when the battery's locked in. So I'm kind of shocked it actually even came on, to be honest with you. There we go, flip her over. There we go. Two tiny little screws, which are these guys. Two, two, four, six. There's two more. Uh-oh, boys, girls, peoples. Where, oh, where did I forget to put them in? Really? Where the f did they come from? So there should be two more. Well, I gotta take it back apart because you can't put it together and not know it. Come on. Oh, the way that thing comes off. So see, I put them in, so those are in. Where the f did these screws come from? Now, if you guys are watching the video, you already know where they go. And once I watch the video, I'm gonna say, ah, oh, of course they do. Well, they don't go there. Holy sh**, man. F***ing losing it. This is crazy. All right, I'll be back in a minute. I gotta figure out where those screws came from. Okay, I'll tell you what. It's great when you're recording yourself because you can go back and look. So those screws went behind these plates right there and there so there you go okay see i knew i'd figure it out because there's no way in hell i'm gonna put a drone back together and not put everything exactly where it went because it's a drone it's flying in the sky and i don't need it to come crashing down on somebody's pumpkin cap so there we go we found them and it makes me feel happy so i'll shove them back in the hole right here where they belong These fit. Yeah, we're good there. Wow. Well, there we go. Come up with the last screw, and there's no screws left on the table. We'll make sure it powers up and we'll make sure it still flies. But I'm really disappointed we weren't able to fix that light. But hey, at least we can't say we didn't try. So there we go. Everything starts up. Except for a light. God, that bugs me why that light doesn't work. And I don't want to play with it too much or I'll have a broken prop. If the prop even works, let's try it. I'll grab my phone. Hold on, Jim. Actually, I don't need my phone to try it. Give it a minute to connect here. There we go. Green screens to go. There you go. Everything works. Good, Jim. There you go. So it still works. You still have takeoff, Captain. Just one less light. So we'll get an arm ordered up for that because it's not safe to fly with one less light. And uh, we'll see what happens. And it's not even the arm I hit on the train either. This is the arm I hit on the train. So that's really weird that why that doesn't work. Hey, whatever. But even though we didn't fix it, at least we still know how it comes apart now. So hopefully you enjoyed this video of how not to get anywhere with Belsliff. Hey, it is what it is. We tried and that's all we do in life is just try. So, like I said, I'll get an arm ordered up for that, and then we'll change that out together. And then the light should work. So, hopefully everybody has a good day like I am. I'm not doing anything I ain't doing. Love you all. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. And until next time, you know what to do for now.